In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your videos without that black bar at the top and the bottom of the screen. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. So we'll go File, New, Sequence. And in here, we want to go over to Settings. We'll go Custom. Time base can be 23.976. Frame size 1920 by 1080, pixel aspect ratio of square pixels, and then we'll press OK. So as you can see, we've just created a 1920 by 1080 composition. So now we need to go ahead and we need to add some footage into our program. So there you go. I've just added some footage into Premiere Pro. I'm going to drag that onto my sequence. And as you can see, I've now got this footage. It's a 1920 by 1080 composition, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to add those black bars at the top and the bottom. So we'll go new item, black video, press OK. We'll drag that onto video layer two and we'll extend that all the way to the end of the clip on clip one. Now we're going to hold option on the keyboard, select the black video, drag that up to video layer three and then let go of option once that's been pasted onto video three. So we've now got our video on track one and then we've got black video and black video on two and three. Select both of those black videos. We'll go effects, crop, and we'll drop crop onto the two black videos. Now we'll go to the black video on video layer three, go to effect controls, go to crop, and we'll change the value of the top crop by 85%. Now we'll go to black video on number two and we'll go to the bottom and change this from zero to 85 again. If you change a value of one of these, so let's say we do 70% on the bottom, make sure you do 70% on the top as well, because that way it's gonna be a perfect even bar at the top and the bottom of the screen. But 70 is a bit much for my liking, so we'll keep that at 85. Now that looks great. Typically from here, once you finish your project, you would go ahead and you would export your video and you go through all of these settings, export 1920 by 1080. And when you upload this to YouTube, you've got that black bar at the very top and at the very bottom. But is there a way to export your video without the black bars at the top and the bottom, but still keep that extended video? Yes. So in the export settings tab, we're going to go over to source. We'll go on to the crop button and you've got crop left, crop top, crop right, and crop bottom. You want to go ahead and you want to pull the top all the way up to a point where this line touches the edge of the frame. So there you go. You can see it touching around 170. So then that means because the top and the bottom are the same, the bottom is also going to be 170. So there you go. We've got this crop on the top and the bottom. And if we now go over to output, we've still got those black bars on the top and at the bottom. And that's because our export settings are still 1920 by 1080. So for those that don't know, 1920 by 1080, that's the amount of pixels per frame. So we've got 1920 across the width and 1080 up along the height. So 1920 by 1080 is the full widescreen aspect ratio. So basically, we now want to remove those black pixels from the top and the bottom. So we need to take 170 pixels from the top and 170 pixels from the bottom. So we'll double that. 170 times 2 is 340. So now we do 1080 minus 340 is 740. And as you can see, nothing has changed. And that's because the width and the height are now linked. So we want to unlink and then we're going to change the width back to 1920. And there you go. The black bars have now disappeared. And now from there, you can just go through your settings, adjust everything. You can render at maximum depth. We'll change the bitrate encoding to CBR. We'll pull that all the way up. So we've got a high quality video. Select use maximum render quality. And then we can render this out. And now when we play this back from our finder, you'll see that there is no black bars at the top and the bottom. It is just this wide video. This means when you upload this to Vimeo or YouTube or Facebook, no black bars will appear. It will just be 
this. So there you go. That is how you export your videos from Adobe Premiere Pro without the black bars at the top and the bottom. So thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. See you on the next video.